welcome to Glissant Designs. I keep seeing on Instagram, on Pinterest, everywhere, this kind of summer bag. You know, with jute rope, raffia rope, a little bit of crochet. So today, we will try to make this kind of bag and let's get ready for this summer. For this summer bag, I will show you how to make this and you will need the jute rope, your crochet hook and also an 8mm rope like this and I will show you how to prepare also the sides of your bag and the strap. To begin with, if you haven't done crochet before, you should go and check out my tote bag video where I take you through the steps to crochet. Here we are using the same technique but we are starting differently. Go under the cord to hook the thread and then make a single crochet. We continue like this until we can curl it like a snail shell and then make just one single crochet through the chain to keep it together. Now make six single crochets around the cord so we can start the second row. We will now make two single crochets through each chain and do the same process in the third row. Here's a tip. Place a safety pin at the start of the row to help guide us, so we know when to finish a row. When you're doing the fourth row, do one single crochet in each chain all around. Fading out, my scars are all blurry. For the fifth and the sixth rows, we will do one single crochet in each chain for two chains and the third chain must have two single crochets. So basically, the first chain is one single crochet, the second chain is one single crochet and the third chain is two single crochets. To finish off, cut the rope and continue the single crochet through the chains all the way around. Make sure you hide the rope in the back. And at the end of this row, we will finish it by doing two chains and cut the thread. So, for the side of the bag, we will start by crocheting chains. The number of chains will depend on the width you would like to have for your bag. Then, from the second row, we will crochet single chains. Each time we finish a row, we will crochet two chains and turn the work to continue the single crochet on the next row. There is no specific size for the length you can decide how long you would like it to be. Just make sure to leave enough space on top to put things in the bag. Uh, so we're gonna cut two pieces of fabric. So basically you place your round part on top of the fabric and you pin it like we do usually in the other DIYs. Like this. And we cut around like one centimeter away. 
doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to sew it. And we will do the same process for the second one. with my sewing machine but as you saw it earlier uh, the needle snapped and the thread kept breaking all the time so I decided to do it by hand and at least I can show you how you can sew it by hand first of all secure a knot at the end of your thread then push the needle through the inside of the fabric fold and pull it through this is the part where we finished off the crochet. Make sure you hide it. Push the needle through the crochet in front of your thread, across, and pull it through. Then, push the needle through the fabric in front of your thread, from the crochet, across and pull it through. You continue this process all the way around and do the same thing for all the other pieces. In this part, pin the front part of your bag with the side and sew it. Then, pin the back part and sew it. So now that we assembled our bag and we sewn around it, we will prepare the strap. And to measure it, basically you're going to measure it on you with the rope that we used earlier. It's the same rope. So it's going to be like this. I don't like it when it's too down, so like this should be fine. So I'm gonna put it here. And we will need two of these. So now we will start to make our strap. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I look a mess. And you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess. The process to make the flap is way too long to put into the video. So, I have prepared a document on my Pinterest that explains the steps in greater detail. You can find the link in the description. Here, we will sew the two coats together to make the strap using the same technique that we use to sew the fabric to the crochet. 
Use also the same technique to sew the flap and the straps to the bag. It's possible to customize the bag with the addition of a button to securely close your bag. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know the top part of the bag was a bit challenging. That's why I prepared some examples and templates for you on my Pinterest. You can find the link in the description below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs and I'll see you next Monday. We like